Hi there, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So the topic of the video today, as you can see from the title, is all about something that I love to do, which is book selling. You know, I still do a lot of uh, book selling on Amazon. That's really how I first got into uh, doing the FBA, is I was, you know, I found that there was a correlation between buying books for cheap and seeing them on Amazon for really expensive uh, when I was out thrifting. And, uh, you know, as I've gone through this whole FBA journey that I've been on, I came across a couple wonderful ladies over at Thrifting for Profit, Deborah Conrad and Beth Sawicki. Now, um, I've been on their, uh, on their radio podcast a couple of times now. Uh, the first show, we talked about textbooks and basically thrifting, um, you know, just in general. Um, now, I'll, I'll put a couple of links down below this video of that. I have, I'll put a link to both of the, uh, to the podcast. And if you're watching this on a mobile phone or some other device to where you cannot see the links down below, you can find this at dollarmoves.com forward slash sell books. That's dollarmoves.com forward slash sell books. So, in the first podcast, it's pretty muffled, and I was really sick, which I did not realize so much when we uh, when we made that one. But again, it's it's got some great content, if you can see past that. And on the second visit, which was just recently, probably about a month ago, I would say, maybe a month and a half, uh, we did a visit about dead tech, which is like old technology products that sell really well, and niche books. And... Um, on that visit, I actually had got a bunch of um, real-world examples of books and dead tech that I purchased and sold for great profit. So anyway, if you want to check either of those out, they'll be down below um, or at dollarmoves.com forward slash sell books. Uh, and then they also have in a previous uh, video, which I'll have, I'll just, if I talk about stuff I've already talked about, it'll be a link, right? <laughs> I did, I, um, I sold a book of theirs, I'm an affiliate of a book of theirs called Thrifting for Profit, The Amazon Way. Now, this is like what I, re uh, I like to call the thrifting Bible. I wish it would have been there when I first started selling on FBA, but if you're interested in thrifting or using the thrift stores to go in and buy some something for super cheap and sell for a lot of money, that's the book for you. Um, I'll put a link down below, like I said, but yeah, really, that is like, I learned a lot. i had been thrifting for, I want to say a year or more when I first came across that, maybe two years, but anyway, I actually learned some stuff myself through that. So um, yeah, they came out with, uh, with that book, and then all around the same time, they came out with some other uh, books. There's another one called Thrifting for Dead Pro Dead Tech Profits. And again, like I said on my second um, interview with them on their podcast, I actually go over some of the dead tech stuff. And so they have that book, which I will also be making a video review of in the near future. And then one last thing that I actually, because uh, there's just so many information products out there that I've been reading and figuring out about, I didn't even notice that they had this other one called the Magic 25, a two-facet approach. It's an actual, like, a course. It's in-depth with videos and stuff. And it's really got... I, I just actually um, emailed Deborah tonight because I want to learn more about this course. I need to get a hold of it, take a look at it, and let you guys know about it. But some of the cool things about it is that you create $25 bundles and products that helps to keep the competition at bay. It's just got a ton of like next level ideas to help take your business to the next level. And I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, you really know that I love the $25 price point. I mean, it's very good. So anyway, uh, without further ado, the video today is going to be about the thrifting for niche book profits. Now in my video um, is book selling on Amazon dead 2013. I talk a little bit about it, but I would like to um, get on here and actually talk just about this book. Again, it's uh, thrifting for niche book profits, the Amazon way. And, um, it's a great book for someone who is looking to just get into this, who's looking to buy and sell books on Amazon. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's, what's really cool about it is that uh, you have the two ladies here, Deborah and Beth, 
Deborah, in the beginning, she would she would go to the thrift stores, but she would pass up the book section because one, she was intimidated by like the big stacks of books, the you know like the big old stacks of books, I guess. And then also, she just did not realize the amount of money that can be made. And I don't think a lot of people actually do realize the amount of money that can be made um, buying and selling books. Uh, you know. It's, it's really cheap to get into. Just a little side note. It's really cheap to get into. You can buy books for super cheap. You know, I bought books for as little as probably 10 cents and sold it for $50. I mean, that's not every day, but that's the appeal of books. I mean, every day I can buy a book for a buck fifty, a buck twenty-five, and sell for $25. Every day. Almost any day. I mean, there are days that I get skunked, but it's not very often. So um, back to them, you know. So she was not even interested in, in doing the book thing. And then she got together with Beth, and Beth loves books. She actually worked at a library at one point. And so, um, you know, she started talking with, uh, with Deborah about the books and everything. And Beth, she'll sell anything that is profitable. And so she started teaching Deborah like how to find the books, what books to look for, and you know how to go about doing it. And it's and it's a lot of the same information that's passed on here in the Thrifting for Niche book Profits the Amazon way. But anyway, this book is really cool. Like this is what I would recommend to somebody if they want to start in on um, selling on Amazon, especially if you're looking at doing it FBA or want to know why someone can make more money on FBA. I mean, it's it's all in this book. There's tons of tips on what to look for and what to avoid when you're looking for uh, purchasing books that you can sell online. Uh, it's got a lot of that stuff and I mean list of, of things to, uh, to avoid and what to look for. And there's, <clears throat> excuse me, also there's a long list of places to find used books to sell on Amazon. Um, I thought that was really cool because it's not just about the thrift stores. It's actually got a bunch of different places to where you can find books to sell online. Um, they also go over the tools that they use. Now, one little thing I will say is that um, they talk about the PDA in there also as as a uh, an option, which it always is. But I did a video just recently that will you might want to check out the app for your smartphone before you go get a PDA, see if that'll work for you. But they go over all the tools that they use. They have an exhaustive uh, area about how to grade books for Amazon with the condition guidelines. And then they also talk about in that, like what to look out for and how they 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 kind of overgrade, which is really good. It's better to um, under promise and over deliver that's really my business style that's the way that i i choose to do business and they teach the same thing and, and i really like that because that way you you stay in the good graces of your customer and you stay away from upsetting the people that can give you the bad feedback and hurt your business um let's see here they, Deb, Beth and Deborah both, they'll show how much they spend on books when buying, and they both have different buying thresholds, so it's cool to get a perspective from both sides. Um, let's see here. They, Like I said previously, they explain the Amazon buyer, and specifically the FBA buyer, too, and how to price for them. So they'll, they'll not only tell you about them, but they'll tell you how to price in certain ways to benefit you the most while not going overboard to be able to keep continue selling what you're what you have but not um but not to go overboard and to keep uh, moving your product and let's see here they talk about fulfillment by amazon why people will uh pay more for the same book that's sold by an fba seller as a merchant fulfilled seller that might be selling a book for a penny book i've done it many times myself selling it for a penny and I've sold the exact same book in the exact same condition where I'm FBA sold for 35 bucks. I mean, I do that kind of stuff all the time. Um, let's see here. There's pricing strategies and tips for FBA sellers specifically. Um, so I, they have a bunch of different areas. Like if there's this many sellers, what, what should you do? If they're priced at this, how should you, you know, so a lot of great pricing strategies and tips. Um, there's a list of all the different profitable niches to look for when scouting uh, for books to sell. So they have a very good list of if you're wanting to go out there, you want to know what to look for and not just be like a chicken with your head cut off. They have a list of all these different niches that you should look for, different areas of, 
of uh, books that you should be looking for. And then what's really cool is they have real world proof with many pictures of actual books and then also what they uh, bought the book for and how much they sold it for. So the book, again, Thrifting for Niche Profits, The Amazon Way, super good book. If you're looking to get into buying and selling books, I mean, it's not expensive. It's a great book. This is the one that I recommend to people if they want to get into it because, you know, books, again, I like books because you can get into them for cheap and you can make a lot of money from them. Um, also, you know, once they're at Amazon, they don't take up a lot of space. So, um, Again, it's a great thing. If you're looking to get into buying and selling books on Amazon, this is the book that I recommend. So um, again, you can go to dollarmoves.com forward slash sell books and that will have all the links. Like <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of links under this one. So um, a lot of free information for those of you who aren't looking to buy anything. You can glean a ton of information off just the stuff that I'm going to put in links below. And for any of you who want to get more in-depth and want to really know pretty much everything you need to know to get out there and start kicking butt buying and selling books on Amazon, um, That then there will be a link to go and to purchase this book. Um, I hope that you guys are doing great out there with your Amazon businesses. And if you're not into doing it yet, and you're, I hope that uh, you're finding the information on these videos valuable. If you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. Positive comments and thumbs up are always appreciated. If you'd like to be uh, kept abreast of any new information or anytime I put out a new video, go to dollarmoves.com and sign up for the email newsletter and I will contact you each time I make a video or something comes up that I think can benefit you. Hey, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.